Hey, what is up everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you the part 11 of the top 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 9.3.3. Boot sound. This tweak allows us to add a boot sound on your device whenever you reboot or respring your device. So here under the settings of this tweak you have sounds. If you go here, you can choose between four different sounds and apply them to your device. So let's respring the device and see here how it sounds. You can hear this sound, it's pretty awesome, and you can add it using this tweak. Browser tabs. This tweak brings a new way to interact with tabs on Safari and also with your bookmarks. So what you have to do is just swipe from the bar here. And now you can see here you have the tabs that you have opened. You can easily go ahead and open any of them. Or you can go to your bookmarks and open any of them like this. You can see if you swipe all the way up, you can stay here and here you have all the bookmarks and also all the background tabs and you can open any of them directly from here. Bypass. This tweak allows you to bypass the passcode of your device by using an activator gesture. As you can see here, I have a passcode but I have set the double tap on the clock to bypass it and as you can see now, it will bypass the code and send me directly to the home screen of my device. After you install this tweak, you will need to open activator and set a gesture, select the gesture and then select bypass to bypass the code of your device. Long CCB. This is a very useful tweak which allows you to tap and hold the toggles on the control center and it will send you to the settings of that toggle. So if I tap and hold the Bluetooth here, you can see it will send me directly to the Bluetooth settings. Aporio, this tweak will help you charge your device faster by enabling low power mode whenever you plug your device into charge. As you can see here, the low power mode will be automatically enabled so it will charge your device faster and whenever you unplug it, it will disable the low power mode. Legacy status bar, this tweak will bring back the old status bar look on your iOS 9 device so you will have the status bar with a black background just like on iOS 6 and it also allows you to hide different stuff from the status bar under the settings of this tweak you have all the switches that allow you to hide elements of the status bar and then a respring button to apply all the changes more timer you can see here on the camera app I have 3 seconds 10 and also 15 so that's what this tweak does it allows you to add more timers to the camera app on your device so you go to the settings of this tweak you go here timer edition enable it and then enter up to three additional timers just enter the time here and it will add them to the camera app of your device now before you want to disable or uninstall this tweak you need to come here and disable this switch right here and then open the camera app so it will remove the additional timers from the camera app Enable live photos. So this tweak will bring a very nice feature from the 6S and the 6S Plus to older devices, which is live photos. So when you open the camera app, you will have this button right here. You tap it and when it turns yellow, it means that now you're shooting live pictures. Pegasus. This tweak will enable picture in picture on your iPhone. So whenever you're watching a video, all you have to do is just tap here and now you will have picture in picture you can also get out of the app here out of safari and i still have the video here i can move it anywhere on the screen or i can resize it pretty cool and now if you want to go back you just tap here again and it goes back to this page where you were watching this video placeholder now have you ever noticed that when you go to the settings app some of the tweaks don't have icons and they don't look good like this tweak right here, it didn't have an icon, but this tweak will add one so all the tweaks have icons and they look better. So to install this tweak, you will need to add a repo, which you can find in the description. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos, please make sure you subscribe. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social media. You can find the links in the description of this video.